Wow, that was amazing. The meteors were glowing so brightly. Yes, the friction with Earth's atmosphere produces a lot of heat. This friction causes meteors to burn up. Oh no, do space shuttles burn up as well when they enter the atmosphere? No, Spikey. People would never go to space if the shuttles they travel in could not come back to Earth. So why don't shuttles burn up? Spacecraft like shuttles are specially designed for the extreme conditions of space. The outer body is covered by insulation tiles that can bear very high temperatures. A special type of strong carbon covers the nose and the edges of the wings, as the temperature in these areas is hottest. These materials prevent space shuttles from burning up due to friction. What about when they are in space? Do spacecraft have any special features to survive in space? They have plenty. I'll just mention the three more important features. Space is extremely cold. A temperature control system manages the internal temperature of the spacecraft. This ensures that the astronauts inside are comfortable. Space also contains large amounts of harmful ultraviolet radiation that is dangerous to both humans and electronics. The outer surface of a spacecraft provides protection from such radiation. For example, some spacecrafts are covered with gold foil because they reflect radiation. The windows of spacecrafts filter out harmful radiation as well. Some spacecrafts have solar panels as well to convert sunlight to electrical power. I see. So do all spacecraft take people to space? No, such spacecrafts are known as manned spacecrafts. Manned spacecrafts have large cabins, so the humans inside are comfortable during space trips. Space stations, like the International Space Station, are large satellites that orbit the Earth. The International Space Station is used for space research and to launch missions deeper into space. Space researchers can stay in the space station for several months. Spacecrafts that do not have humans are known as unmanned spacecrafts. Unmanned spacecrafts have three main uses. One, they explore the universe. Two, they transport cargo to space stations, and three, they act as satellites that orbit the Earth. Let's take a closer look at each of these unmanned vehicles. Spacecrafts that explore the universe are known as probes. These are small vehicles that take pictures and measure the atmospheric conditions of planets like Mars. A well-known example is the Mars Inside Probe which touched down on Mars in November 2018. The InSight probe will measure temperature and will check for earthquakes on Mars. Cargo spacecrafts transport food, fuel, and other supplies to space stations. They are normally in the form of capsules. Satellites are launched into space for specific roles. Communication satellites, are used to relay television, cell phone, and radio signals. Satellites also record weather changes and track positions of devices on Earth. Let's summarize what we have learned today. Spacecrafts are designed to withstand the extreme temperatures and harmful radiation of space. The International Space Station is a large artificial satellite used for space research. Spacecrafts can be manned or unmanned. Unmanned spacecrafts explore the universe, transport cargo, and act as satellites.